Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. It's not actually the morning, it's the afternoon. I have finished my placement for the week and I have come back home to relax. This afternoon I am actually just going to be spending the entire day of it studying. I have finally finished all of my endocrine work that I was doing in this stupid exam. And I am now just going over some endocrine questions to really revise all the things that I've learned, as well as going over some previous topics. And that's pretty much going to be my study plan for the rest of this week. A couple hours later and I have done my questions for the day. Now, for this evening, if you watched the last vlog, you would have seen that I went suit shopping because this weekend I am going to a masquerade ball hosted by the Medical Society. When I went shopping, I got myself a brand new suit jacket, suit trousers, but one of the things I forgot to get were shoes because I don't own smart shoes. So that is what I am going to go out and look for this evening. been a very productive person this morning. I woke up, had breakfast and spent like an hour or so doing exam style questions before even going into the medical school today and surprisingly I actually know sort of what I'm going to be doing on a Thursday in the medical building. I have one session which is to do with consultations with patients who don't speak the same language as you. And if there's a simulated patient scenario like that, I will cry. And the second is a standard one on various different causes and types of chest pain, which is a bit easier, I hope. For the first time in the year, it's actually sunny and semi-warm. Oop, don't get hit by traffic. It's a really good day today. Do, don't ever do medicine, such a bad idea. Which... Hey! quick rundown of what I did today. In the morning I had my consultation in another language, the language was Spanish, and I was alright actually. Uh, you have to use a lot of hand movements when you're dealing with patients who can't speak the same language as you, and you learn a few things about the different words you're supposed to be looking out for. One of the things I learned was the fact that apparently gastroenteritis in Spanish is pretty much gastroenteritis. Gastroenteritis. So if you say that in English, um, the, the a Spaniard may be able to more quickly understand what you're talking about, which is nice. The second thing was all about complex consultations. So in the context of chest pain, looking at the various different causes of chest pain and looking at how psychological factors can also be a part of the diagnostic process and looking at how patients who have a really really complex history 
but they don't seem to have a specific diagnosis how these patients should be managed and what is in their best interests and what should be done looking at previous case studies. For the rest of the day, I am going to be studying and to end the day off, I am going to go and work out. Hello, editing Naffy here. On Friday, I filmed a bunch of stuff and vlogged, but none of it really made any sense. So I thought it would be better if I just told you after the fact. On Friday, I did three things of importance. The first was doing a live stream of me studying. Live streaming is something that I'm trying to get myself into and I was doing exam style questions, which is a really fun thing to try and stream. The second was that I had a microbiology tutorial in the afternoon where I was going through the various different bugs that can cause UTIs and looking at what antibiotics you should be prescribing for them. And finally, the third thing is a little random. Someone at MSRC, which is the Medical Students Representative Council, asked me if I could sort of last minute help them with the filming of a video. This video is to help us third years sort of understand what an OSCE is like. If you watched my vlogs back in first term, you will know that my end of term OSCE got cancelled because of the Omicron variant. So MSRC thought it would be a good idea to try and create a video in order to help us third years understand what an OSCE is like, as we have never had any mock OSCE or FOSCE before. We now go to Saturday, which probably has some of the most interesting things in this video. Now, usually on Saturday mornings, I don't film my vlogs, but because I've got the masquerade ball today, I'm filming on Saturday. So I thought I'd take you through what is effectively become my Saturday routine. First thing I do in the morning is brush my teeth and shave so I feel like a normal functioning human being. Next thing I do is I come into the kitchen to make myself a quick breakfast. I then come down, sit with my breakfast, and do some editing. Usually it will be a weekly vlog, but today it is a video about books I use on placement. The majority of my Saturday afternoon was spent outside where I went shopping and got a bow tie and some cufflinks, as well as an ironing board. It is now half six. Drinks are at seven o'clock. I have been spending the last 10 minutes trying to get this bow tie right and uh, desperately trying to iron my shirt, but there are still creases because I rushed it. And I am now ready for the masquerade ball. Last thing that I need to show you before I go is, well, the mask. Because obviously, with a masquerade ball, got to wear a mask. That looks pretty good. Who knows how long this is gonna stay on my head for all night, but I mean, it looks pretty cool regardless. Jacket on, mask at the ready, and I believe I'm ready to leave for the ball.
do you do? What do you do? You rehydrate your eyes. There we go. Dr. Naffy over here has told us you're, what you do. You're both med students. Oh, we know. Don't say our Close enough. Don't say our Guess who won? Oh, Guess who won? I've lost it. I've lost it all. <laughs> I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> And finally, after a night which I have really, really enjoyed, and someone stole my mask, and someone spilt red wine all over me, I am going to end this vlog here. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.